back for another episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. Last time I lost an Electifier to a Haunter because I clicked the wrong move. And spent time looking for an encounter here. I took forever to find one, but I was able to find one eventually. I continued looking once I ended the recording, and I finally found something I could catch and wasn't dupes species our previous claws. Cause I was like, if I kept getting previous claws, I'm just gonna catch something that I, even though I used it before, I was going to just go ahead and catch it to get something. But I finally got something that wasn't previous claws, dupes or species. And I added it to the team. I added it to the team and sent Electivire to the PC when I get back to PC, I will put Electivire in the death box. But for right now, Electivire is just sitting in the PC in one of the boxes. But then I will move it later on when I get the chance. And what I got was a Bisharp that I named Charming. Like, Knight in Shining Armor. Knight Charming, Prince Charming. Like, Prince Charming. Except, he's like a knight. Night Charming. That's what he is. Where's Sharon's Metaclaw? Exit the Brick Break. Then we got Star, Stymie Wood, Bubble Beam, Psychic, Sideshock, and Grass Knot. Then we got Compass, the Probopass, with Stone Edge, Power Jump, Earth Pound, Discharge. Then we got Debbie, the Mud Staff, with High Horsepower, Rock Slide, Heavy Slam, Pole then we got Evan, the Decidueye, with Seed Bomb, Spirit Shackle, U-Turn, Giga Drain. Then we got Fluffy, the Fur Fruit, with Headbutt, Bite, U-Turn, Baby Doll Eyes. And that's the team. Okay, I just put out the team's gold grunts here. Apparently my phone stopped recording because I ran out of space, so I went to delete some stuff so I could continue recording. So you just missed, you just missed those team's gold grunts that I just beat up because my phone apparently was running out of space, so it stopped the recording and I need the clean space. So I could continue recording the episode. Nothing exciting happened, so yeah. I guess I go here to get some more potions and buy more potions. Why did I just say get more potions and buy more potions? It's the same thing. I don't know. It Wait, I just flew here. What? Oh, and put Electivire in the death box. That's what else I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna buy more potions, and I see you guys back in Potan. I bought potions, I sold some items, and I put Electivire in the death box. And I bought a few more Pokeballs, and, well, yeah. Technically, they're still Pokeballs, just Ultra Balls is what I bought. A few more Ultra Balls. And... Was there anything else? Oh, and I put Electivire in the death box where he b belongs. 
I was about to say she belongs, but Electivirus. I don't know why my phone keeps doing that. But I'm trying to record and it opened up the internet browser in the middle of my recording. Don't know why it did that. I, I deal with that later. I figure out why it keeps doing that later. I could pay ten dollars to heal or just fly back to the Pokemon Center and then fly back here. I'm probably just gonna pay ten dollars to heal instead of constantly flying back. Because I don't feel like cutting out a bunch of things. I don't feel like doing a bunch of cutting because now I'm going to forget how long I've been recording. I already did two cuts already. And I'm already starting to forget how long I've been recording. If we have a long episode, so be it. It doesn't matter that much. We've been doing this series for quite a while now, so I want to get as far as I can, get, so I can get start the next series. Well, I need to finish the Alpha Sapphire Wedlock too, so I can have more time to record that. Alpha Sapphire can wait. A lot of people want to see the Ultra Moon game more than Alpha Sapphire, since most of my peop most of my views on the channel have been for the Ultra Moon Nuzlocke right now. Hasn't been that many people watching the Alpha Sapphire Wetlock. But I'm pretty sure people will start watching it again once the Ultra Moon Nuzlocke is over. They're going to start focusing more on the Alpha Sapphire Wetlock. But after I finish this, I'm hoping to start a uh, Pokemon Y dual type lock a dual type nuzlocke i haven't decided what two typings i'm going to use it can be fire psychic grass fighting water dark um any other type i'm just saying fi fire psychic water dark grass fighting because that's the typings of the Kalo starters. And of course, you're gonna be using your starter. If you do psychic, you won't be able to use any fighting, psychic, or dark. You won't be able to use the Kanto starters, but you will still be able to use the Kalos region starters. And who? The Kanto starters doesn't really matter that much if you can't use it. If I do fighting, that would be chest pin. Unless you do grass and fighting, you you can use. Unless you do grass, use choose grass and the fighting typing as one of the as your two typing choices. Then you will be able to use the Kanto and college starters if you do grass as one typing and fighting as your other typing. But I haven't decided on the typings I want to do yet. The two typings I want to do yet. You guys can definitely let me know what typings you think I should use. You guys can definitely let me know what typing you, what two typings you think I should use for the Y dual type Nuzlocke I'm going to do after I finish this. 
after I finish this series. I lost my liking rock, but Probo Pass has been very useful so far. I can always see what the like MZ looks like when I play get um when I um get to uh, when I'm able to use an Ultra Sun because I'm doing an Ultra Sun Let's Play for fun. But I am also thinking of doing an Ultra Sun Wonderlock in the future. Well, I did do kind of a, well, I mean like an Ultra Wonderlock on the channel. I did do one for, I was doing one for fun on my own time, but I decided I want to actually just do regular Let's Play. And then on the channel, I may do another. I will actually do the ultra. Continue, continue to trying to do an ultra sun wonderlock. I was doing one for fun, and then I decided to do regular let's play. And the let's play, I just got to Po Town. Well, I just beat up the Minikyu Town, actually. Yeah, I just beat the Minikyu Trial and my ultra sun let's play. But if I don't do a Wonderlock of Ultra Sun on the channel, I probably just continue doing it for fun. Continue doing one for fun. And then maybe in the future do one on the channel. I don't know. You guys can definitely let me know if you want to see Ultra Sun Wonderlock. But I know for sure. After this, I'm definitely going to start the Pokemon Y dual type class lock. And finish up the Alpha Sapphire Y lock. That's for sure. The Sun or Ultra Moon Wonder Lock. Most likely Ultra Sun, because I plan on keeping this save file. But my Ultra Sun one, I really don't care that much about the save file. I plan on keeping this one because I plan on doing shiny hunting in the future for you guys. Live streaming some more shiny hunting for you guys. Because it seems like a lot of you love shiny hunting, so I plan on recording more shiny hunting when I beat Ultra Moon. This Ultra Moon that's locker. If I lose, I don't know. If I win or lose against the champion. Whoever you fight as the champion. I know in Sun and Moon it was Kakui, but I don't know who it is now. I'm not sure if it's still Kakui or if it's someone else. I find out when I get to that point, I guess. But yeah, maybe I make that the question of the day. Do you want to see an Ultra Sun Wonderlock in the future? I make that the question of the day. Okay. Okay, healed up the team. I didn't want to waste time healing my team up. Why having you guys watch me heal my team up with potions? Yeah, 
And we got 50 totem stickers now. So I can go back to Samson Oak and see what the next totem is I get. Which I will do once we're down here. I'm going to try to take on Guzma in this episode. In that case, if I do, it's going to be a pretty long episode. But I think you guys will enjoy it. But I'm pretty sure you got all of you want to see me fight Guzma. But if I don't get to Guzma, I will be recording another episode later on today anyway. So I will find him in that episode if I don't get to him in this one. Nothing you can really do. But I probably won't get to him because I'm probably going to end shortly to eat breakfast. But after breakfast, I do plan on recording another episode. So I probably won't get to him in this one. But before I end off, I think I would go and see what the totem is. But yeah, I think I will actually end it here and go eat breakfast. But first, let's see what I get for the totem Pokemon. And then after breakfast, I will record another episode, and we will take on Guzma in that episode. And possibly Nanu also. Araquanid. Okay, I... Don't have a Araquanid or a Duplider. And even if I did, I would probably still use the totem. <laughs> Just like I did with the Raticate, I still used it even though I had a Species Claws. I had a Raticate. But I still use Totem Raticate because Totems are awesome. I count Totems as static encounters anyways. So I can still <laughs> they're gift Pokemon technically. Um I'm just gonna name me Bubblehead. Well, back to Po Town I go. Well, now I'm going to end off the episode. If you enjoy, if you're enjoying the series, leave a like. And it, I went to the wrong place, wrong island. Now, back to Po Town. If you're enjoying the series, um, leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you want to get daily notifications of when I upload. Feel free to subscribe and join the Espeon Kingdom. And also, don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Next episode, we'll take on Guzma and hopefully take on Nanu also. I, we'll see what happens in the next episode. Which there will be another episode recorded later on today. As they say, that's breaking the fourth wall. But who cares? That episode would be right after recording, right after breakfast. Um, so, oh, I already got the sticker. Okay. 
So I see you guys next time for another episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon Let's Goodbye.